Hi guys, just wanted to pop in before we got started to let you guys know this video was pre-filmed November 1st. As you get into today's video, you will understand why it took me so long to get it out for you. As I'm sure you all know by now, all holiday 2022 makeup has already been released. What I did want to let you know is as of December 9th, the palette I'm playing with from Charlotte Tilbury is on sale at her website. She's currently having a 20% off site-wide sale, including this palette. The foundation from Clay de Poe I've seen on sale off and on at Nostrums. When I upload this video, if any of these sales are still ongoing, I will pin it in the comment section as well as any other holiday makeup that's on sale. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Bye. Because they said full coverage and then in the same sentence say, no, we changed our mind. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by your this truth. Tell me that I can't and I won't never get in a post. I'm back. What do I have for for today? Keep watching. Hi peoples, welcome to my channel, Bernie Playing With Makeup. My name is Bernadette. All my friends and subscribers call me Bernie. So if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn that notification bell, that way you will be notified every time I upload new videos just like this. For all the returning Bernie babes, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate you. For the Bernie babes in the making, you know, you're the ones, you come over, you keep with us. We love you. However, we would love you even more if you decide to become an official member of the Bernie Babe family by going ahead and hitting that big red subscribe button right there. Just go ahead and hit it. One big perk of becoming an official Bernie Babe, you will be able to turn that notification bell. Set it to all, that way you won't miss any activities I have here on YouTube. I know it's been a hot minute. I do hope everyone is doing well. Me, I'm doing. That's how I'm gonna leave it, okay? I'm doing. Today is another edition of Luxury Beauty Review with moi. This is the first installment of Luxury Beauty Review Holiday Edition. All of the holiday makeup have been dropped. We looked at this one here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. I finally got around to reviewing this bad boy here. This is from Clay de Poe. This is the Clay de Poe Radiant Fluid Foundation Natural. If you want to see how to perform and also you want to get my thoughts and feedback on them, what you have to do? That's right, keep watching. Until next time guys, please be safe. Bye. All right, so guys, I know it has been a hot minute since I've put out any content, since I even filmed content. There may be content that I already filmed before this one, and it's probably gonna fall in between it if I could ever get through editing it. Right now I'm in pain, it's not my Crohn's or I see. I have a tooth that needs to be removed, and I've already, I've already went to the dentist three times, and they aren't able to numb it sufficiently to remove it. So it's looking like I'm gonna have oral surgery on Monday. So I wanna get some content already filmed, that way I could be editing my content whilst I'm recovering. So we're gonna be reviewing this foundation right here and also Charlotte Tilbury's face palette for holiday 2022. So this right here is from Clay de Poe. This is Clay de Poe Radiant Fluid Foundation Natural. If you follow any luxury beauty creator, you would have seen this foundation years ago. This formula is new. The original formula is MAC. This one here is a more radiant finish. And this is what it looks like. The packaging, a very heavy, solid bottle. The cap, the cap feels, mm, yeah. One of the entire experience for $130. Yes, this foundation does retail for $130. You are gonna be getting 1.1 fluid ounce. This foundation, I believe, comes in 25 shades. I have it in the shade 080. I believe the O is for olive. Looking at all of the shades, I felt like this shade was gonna be the best match for me. Even though I have more of a golden warm undertone, I am hoping that this works for me. We're gonna just get into today's video. I have already done my skincare routine, which also included SPF. Today's SPF is from Biosense. If you are not new to my channel, you've been seeing this practically the entire year of 2022. This is Biosense Squalene Plus Zinc 
Sheer Mineral Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I'm going to prime my face using this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I've really been enjoying this as a primer, especially as the water starts to get a little bit cooler and drier. My skin type with age is definitely going from combo to dry. I used to be combo with oily T-zone and normal perimeter, but you know, as the birthdays have been coming, my skin has been going through some changes. It's okay, we still love her even though she getting on my nerves. <laughs> so I hope you guys have all been doing well since we last spoke. I know you guys are probably into final month, final days of holiday shopping. Holiday shopping is not a big deal for us. We don't really go all out for the holidays. That's just us. That doesn't mean that we are telling people not to go all out for the holidays. Listen, when you have the amount of children that I have in my family, mm -mm. it was an economical decision not to be doing the Christmas thing. I am going to start with one pump. I know you can get it from Nordstrom, that's where I got mine from. And you can also get it from Neiman Marcus, I believe. And Play the Poe does have a website. This sales only is going with one, but that is probably one and a half. Consistency of it isn't too watery, the way most luxury foundations are. It's a liquid foundation. It is not, the finish is natural radiant. It says that it's gonna last 24 hours. We know we're not going to be testing the 24 hour claim because we don't do 24 hour tests here on Bernie Plan with makeup. And the reason for that is because no one wears foundation for 24 hours. Shh, don't tell the brands that. This is described as a full coverage and luminous finish foundation with sheer to medium coverage. That kind of threw me off because in the same sentence, so there's a full coverage, then it says sheer to medium. So I, I, we're about to find out. It, in person, just from what I lay down, I do feel like it is going to be my shade, yeah. Yeah, okay. I can definitely see the olive undertone, but it can work. My Armani Beauty foundation is also an olive undertone, which was why I didn't mind too much going with that undertone. It's a beautiful foundation. This is the foundation I've, I have, if I wanted to, was given the opportunity since last year, I think, to review. At the time, I wanna say the shade range has been expanded because at the time I could not find a shade that was my shade. And so I was just like, I would really love to review it, but you guys just don't have my shade. So this year, when they, like I said, I don't know, so don't quote me on if they, if any shades was just added, but I do know in the beginning, this foundation did not have range. Now 25 or 26, that as much as I'm gonna say, you know, be more inclusive, that's just the way it is, right? I think it's a bit unreasonable for us to ask brands to stock foundation shades that chances are they won't be able to sell. Now that is not to say that everyone of darker complexion isn't interested in luxury makeup. Just, rea just reality, the ratio is what makes me say that the darker shades will not perform as well as the medium deep shades. Now I will try to put a chart of this on the screen just so we can see how the shades are distributed. Because sometimes what happens is it will be 24 or 25 shades and it will, it will be poorly distributed. But I have noticed lately they are equally dividing it, which I guess is the, you know, that's how we split the baby. It does the fragrance. So keep that in mind. I have this year, I have tried some that has had more fragrance than this, but that's definitely fragrance. I think that's another thing that's just a reality of luxury makeup that is just going to have fragrance. I have no idea why. 
I think something goes wrong in the lab. You know, most of these brands have perfume. I think something goes wrong in the lab and somehow, you know, the chemist doesn't notice. <laughs> Obviously, I'm being facetious. I personally feel like it does break my skin out. But yeah, guys, the last couple of weeks has been so, like, stressful for us. Unfortunately, my husband's dad passed. Needless to say, that has been a difficult time for us. My husband's parents only had two kids, so it's just him and his sister, and they, they were close to their dad. So losing him has been difficult. He was a sweet, a sweet kind soul. I can remember, because I'm always in the bedroom, I can remember like he would ask my husband how I'm doing, and like periodically he'll be like, no, I'm, I'm coming in to see her. And he's like, and he, I, like, when I ask for you, he's always saying that you're, you're sleeping. And you're, I, I want to see for myself. So I'm definitely going to miss him, as will the entire family. And then came my tooth. I don't know if you've ever had a tooth, toothache. Even with me living in pain, toothache has been the worst for me and I don't know my body is high maintenance I haven't been able to have any any of my teeth extracted with local anesthetic it, it it may start off that way and then once that wears off we end up with general one thing to remember is that Crohn's disease does affect the mouth it, it affects the entire digestive tract for my age, I have lost far too many of my teeth for my age. So we definitely believe that it's Crohn's disease uh, affecting it. But when that started, my husband's dad was in the hospital and we wanted to just focus on him. I wanted my husband to just be focusing on him. So you know, I kept putting off going to the dentist. But my husband can just look at me and know that I'm in pain. Even if I say, no, I'm okay, he knows that that's not true. You know, we went to the dentist, she numbed me up and everything. And then the minute she like touched it, it was like, I was like in screaming pain. So I was like, nah, this isn't gonna work. So she sent me home on antibiotics and found antibiotics for, I think it was three or four days. Came back, numbing me, same thing. At this point, I'm frustrated, so I go to another dentist who's able to numb me up a little bit better. However, once she begins to try to extract the tooth, the pain, the pain resurfaces. The fragrance of this, remember I said that it wasn't, it was just a little bit. The more I am blending this, the more I'm smelling the fragrance. If you have an allergy to fragrance or you just don't like fragrance, this bad boy here may not be for you. And you know if you're gonna spend $130 for a foundation, you wanna make sure that's something that you're going to use. Even though I built it up around here, I noticed that it doesn't look cakey. Normally when I try to build foundations up around my mouth, it can get cakey real quick. And so that's one reason why I stay away from doing that. But this foundation, it, it did a really good job. I did color correct. It is a beautiful radiant finish foundation. If I were to put this head to head with any of my luxury foundations, it would be Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. And that one is 150. This is, this is the vibes I'm getting from this one. A couple concealers dropped this here. <laughs> and I do have most of them. I haven't been in love with any of them. And they all made a splash here on YouTube. This concealer here from Bobby Brown, this concealer also dropped this here. What I noticed is this concealer did not get much buzz on YouTube. I saw it a couple of times on TikTok, but on YouTube, not so much. Now, I'm hoping that this one here that didn't get much buzz just kind of flew under the radar and I'm gonna get better results than I've gotten with all of the other ones I tried. This is Bobbi Brown Skin Full Coverage Concealer. This is what it looks like. I can't remember how much it retails for, but I'll have, it, I'll have it linked in the description bar, along with how many shades comes in it. I have it in the shade Almond. It's supposed to be a full coverage concealer. I'm hoping it is like Lancome, which is a full coverage, but doesn't really blend like a full coverage, but we're about to find out. Oh, okay, the applicator is definitely unique. You guys see what I'm talking about? In person, 
I know this wasn't supposed to be an orange undertone, but in person, not on camera, but in person, oh no, hold up. This has an orange undertone. Whatever you do on the, on each on one side, you gotta do it on the other. So I can use a little bit of this to color correct, conceal any dark circles that I have. I wanna go on the website and see how the shade is described. On the website, this shade is described as medium brown with yellow undertone for medium dark skin. The shade would be a good shade for me if it was not the wrong undertone, which I will be reporting back to them. Okay, next up, the other co-star of today's show, Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This does come in two different shades. One shade is meant for more lighter skin tones and another shade that's meant for dark skin tones. So the one I have obviously is meant for dark skin tones. This does retail for I think $80 or $85. It'll be linked in the description. This is a very, very pretty palette. This is the packaging for it, very pretty. I think Charlotte does a really, really, really good job with her packaging. You guys know that I'm not necessarily a big packaging person. That's what it looks like there. Very, very pretty. Now, off back, I feel like this is not deep enough for dark skin tones. This shade here and this shade here are both supposed to be blushed, blush right here. It'll be a stretch even for me to get this blush to show up without it being ashy. This one here definitely will work, but I do feel like, like if you say that you have two, two different shades, one for deeper skin tone and one for lighter skin tone, I feel like the one for deeper skin tone should have been something that people of deeper skin tone, everyone should be able to use. But this, I was a couple weeks ago and I didn't swatch it. I did take a look at it, but I didn't swatch it or anything. A holiday, because they typically they start to release them late September into October. I'll never be that person to run and put up my review because I know Black Friday is coming and these items will be on sale. So for me, I prefer to do my reviews in time for Black Friday. Obviously, it is the same palette, it is the exact same product that it was in September, October when they released it. I think I did mention that I'm only going to be reviewing the face palettes. I'm gonna review Pat McGrath as well as Natasha Denona. I don't know why I'm reviewing Natasha Denona, but I'm gonna review, review that. And I think there's one more. I think I may have one more. I think it's Patrick Todd. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. I don't like the consistency of it. The way it fits on my finger, it feels very powdery, not creamy. So that's what they look like. You see what I mean? The soft pink one doesn't really show up well on my skin. If you're a little bit darker than me, I don't see it's gonna show up on your skin. The other two shades in here, they're meant to be highlighters. The highlight shades feel more creamy to me. So that's them, that's, but maybe that is not a really good swatch. But that's what they're looking like. I'm going to try layering them on. So I'm gonna first go in with the light pink one and then I'm gonna put this one on top of it. If you wanna follow me on TikTok, please go ahead and follow me for anything with makeup, TikTok, and Instagram. So that's the lighter shade. I don't know if they have names. If they do, I can't see. The brush isn't picking it up well at all. I don't know how to get much more from this. I'm gonna go ahead and layer this shade on top of it and let's see how it's gonna look. Same issue with it not picking it up. What's up with that? Shade two, the brush is not picking it up well. This is disappointing. The, the first thing I'm noticing is that brush is not picking the product up well. There's no fallout from it. Formulas like this, sometimes you may think the brush isn't picking it up, but the brush is and you don't know that I can tell you but I don't feel like that's the case with this this reminds me of in terms of how it's showing up it reminds me of one of the Gucci blush I think it's warm berry six yeah guys that review is going to be on TikTok 
I know you guys wanted to know if I was going to review that. I have reviewed it. And if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know that. This palette is very, very disappointing. I, I thought for sure, at the very least, this cranberry shade here would show up. But that is not happening, my friends. That's not happening. I didn't watch much reviews of these, of any of the holiday palettes, especially once I, I had already made up my mind when I saw what was coming out. I had already made up my mind which ones I was going to review. So I did not watch much reviews. Normally I do watch reviews, but sometimes when when I feel like YouTube gets saturated with a product, it is a big turn off for me. And with me struggling with, you know, pain, my husband's father dying, and all of the other things that have been going on this last couple of weeks. I forgot to mention I actually went to the ER. I spent like 24 hours in the ER. My IC pain had just went out of control crazy. You guys have seen me a couple of times struggling with that. And I ended up in the hospital for about 24 hours. Good thing though was there was an infection that was causing the pain to flare up. And I did get, get rid of that. So there's that. And then as soon as that started to, that's when they came as soon as because they, they put me on Cipro antibiotics as soon as that started to work. Boom, here comes the juice. You guys don't even understand. My body is so, it's just so drama filled. I recently discovered Charlotte Tilbury's powder products, the pilots and stuff, and I really, really have been enjoying them. I had high, high hopes for this palette here, but it's not panning out. It goes beyond me being disappointed in the shade range and feeling like the shade for deeper skin tone is a bit, you know, too light. It is the performance of it overall, or that could be a, a product of it. It could be, like I said, the, the shade, the colors, the colors aren't really dark skin friendly. So that could be what I'm seeing. Of all the ones I, I selected to review, I was most excited with this one here. The next one probably will be Pat McGrath. The next one I'll review probably will be Pat McGrath. Well, no, I think Natasha Denona review is gonna go up first because I don't currently have Pat McGrath because I wasn't excited about that one at all. Let me go back into this palette here for my highlighter. I'm gonna try both of them because I think both of them could work in my, for my inner chair duct, so that's what I'm gonna go with first. I'm gonna start off with the lighter of the two. So this shade, this shade right here. And I'm using a small pencil brush from Ruffa. This is Ruffa 03 brush. By the way, they're having a 50% off site-wide sale right now. I love their brushes. It's really nice natural hair brushes for an affordable price. Can you see it? My eyeshadow, I have, I'm using, what is it? Oh, Natasha Denona palette. I think it's the mini bronze. I used so many brushes for my blush today. When I be go to wash them, he's gonna be like, what were you doing? Yeah, he's very sweet like that. He's been washing my brushes for me. Nope, ladies, he's not available. The highlighter definitely packs a punch, which I'm not surprised by, because that highlighter palette that I have for her that I used in a video a couple videos back, I really did like that. Just to test out the other shade, I'm gonna put the other shade, this one here, in this inner tear duct. So mascara went up here. I'm just waiting on it to dry and I'm gonna remove it. Interesting. The shade I thought was gonna be more vibrant. That's not showing up. I've, I've taken my medicine. Like I said, I'm really, really struggling. So if my energy goes down a little bit, that means my meds are kicking in. It seems as if that shade, that shade is not giving me what I thought it would give me, which is weird. So I'm gonna go in the first shade. So I thought maybe it was the brush I was using, but I wasn't getting the payoff I was looking to get, but it's not the brush, it's the shade, because now I'm moving over to the first shade that I have. So it's the same shade I have on this side, and that's showing up, same brush is putting up its 
picking the product up fine. I'm gonna try it here, I'm gonna try this again. Like I'm trying to get this all kinds of opportunities to show me what it has and it's just not, it's not showing up. Right, so I'm gonna try this shade here again. My, my temple cheek. <laughs> oh man. Hopefully one of the ones that I have marked down as not expecting much from. Hopefully it surprises me in a good way because this is definitely surprising me and not in a good way. I'm gonna layer that other shade on top of it. I feel tempted to put a little bit more blush on just because I feel like we can't see the blush at all. Blush tends to get off early, but this blush has not even clocked in. So I think I'm going with just a little bit more. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. The current time is 5.52. I wanna say it was like 2.30 when I started. Let's talk about this foundation right here. This is the Clay de Peau Radiant Fluid Foundation Natural. It seems like those words ain't coming like the way the words are put together. Radiant Fluid Foundation Natural. This foundation, I really, really do enjoy this foundation. This was a first impression, so it was my first time trying this foundation. The foundation does claim to have a 24 hour wear time. Y'all know we was never gonna test this foundation for no 24 hours. If you was looking at this foundation and wondering if it's worth it, I definitely would say it is. Obviously, I'm not gonna get a chance to do a 24 hour wear test on it. However, from what I've seen, it does look like it will give you a long wear. What I love about it is that it is radiant, not dewy. It is luminous, but not shiny. It, it strikes the exact balance between dewy and radiant, and between radiant and glowy. Yeah, that's, that's what I was looking for. It does retail for $130, which is a little bit up there, but this is the holiday season, and this is also the Luxury Beauty Review. So you know what we do on Luxury Beauty Review. I absolutely love this and would definitely recommend it. I'm going to put on screen, I will put a layout of the shades. As I said previously, I believe it's 25 shades, and I wanna see how they were distributed, if they were evenly distributed. So I'll put a chart up so we can take a look at it. Up next is this here from Charlotte Tilbury. This is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. This is for holiday 2022. This is disappointing. There's no way for me to even sugarcoat it. It is disappointing. Of all of the holiday 2022 face palettes that I plan on reviewing, this one here I had the highest hopes for. And considering the way it performed, it really helped me like, can the others be any worse? At this point, I don't think they can be any worse. For $80, Listen, yeah, I appreciate that she came up with two different shades. I'll give them an A for effort, but I did not understand the assignment. When I first received this, my eyes was immediately drawn to this shade here, which I know there's no way that is gonna show up as a blush for me. Then I saw this shade here, and I was like, oh, okay, so this shade here should be able to work. When I saw this shade here, it immediately reminded me of one of the Pat McGrath blush duos. This one here. Now this blue red, it definitely packs a punch. This one here from Charlotte Tilbury, it is not blue red, it seems more cranberry, but I was hoping, you know, I was hoping since the shade was made for deeper skin tones, I was hoping the performance on at least one of the shades would we would be able to use the way I feel with Pat McGrath Blush Duo, where really I feel like this is the only one that I can use as someone with dark skin complexion. Unfortunately, this just didn't show up. It, just, it, it didn't. I was like trying to get it out, like digging, digging, and nothing was coming out. And I layered both of them on, and you can barely see if I have a blush on. One of the things, whenever I think I'm tripping, I like to call my husband and let him give me his unbiased opinion. And he immediately said, it doesn't look like you have any blush on. I was, I'm so disappointed in this, and the, the, the highlighter shades did not perform much better. This shade here, this shade here performed better. And then again, this shade here, I expected a lot from this. This is obviously darker than this one here. Yet, this one here never clocked in. So really for $80, if you are deep skin tone, basically what you're going to get, in my opinion, this highlighter right there, that's what you're going to get. That's the only thing that I feel like actually showed up for me. For $80, 
that's a hard pass for me. Like, there's no way I can recommend this palette for $80. I already told you guys which ones I'm gonna be reviewing. So hopefully we can find one that works for us. All right guys, so we are now at the end of today's video. You've heard from me, now I wanna hear from you guys. So go ahead and let's start talking about it in the comment section. I wanna know if you, have you tried this foundation or the palette? And if you tried it, what did you think of them? And if you haven't tried them, what do you now think of them in light of my review? Let's start talking. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I really do appreciate it. If you have not yet done so, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. That does help me here on YouTube. And if you're not yet a Bernie babe, come on. What are you waiting on? Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on the notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I upload new videos just like this. Until next time, guys, please be safe. Bye.